I, I, I 100% agree, but it, it is, uh, the customer is king here. But if you try to, the same, uh, you know, a CRM, try to develop system, you just cost much. Yeah, 100% agree. But as long as the customer wants it, we deliver it, because the customer is king. Which, which actually, if customer is really king, you will prevent him from making mistakes. Yeah, they that's, want that's my money. that's my key that's yeah. my key point. Also, in delivering an exceptional customer, uh, they want to pay money for that. It's okay, mm. but uh, it costs much. Mm. Well, usually, what the customer wants costs actually cost too much. Mm. They they spend money that doesn't have a return on investment. Not the reason why they are. Losing cost of competitiveness against the competitor. Right, because there is some some guy sitting in some office who's responsible for this client, and they always have this kind of functionality in their old system that they deliver to the client, and they cannot explain to the client that they will have a exactly. different kind of system. Exactly. So this is if you're going to more competitive, is not kind of you know, heavy customer oriented support. Right. So eighty right. twenty rule is very useful in. Exactly, 1820 room, exactly. So you just uh, uh, eliminate exceptional subs for them. Right? Well, so when I say exceptional, I don't mean that this service it goes limitless. It is exceptional in the case that it is, it goes beyond just delivering on promises. It also makes contesting customer requirements. Uh, it goes, uh, it basically means that you are more of a partner than a supplier. It is applying the more of a European... Uh, I don't understand what you mean. So actually, so what, but my point is not that, that you are not excellent and exceptional, doesn't mean that you actually go uh, only above and beyond in delivering whatever the customer wants. Basically, you are not behaving only as a supplier, but also as a partner. That means that you listen, that you in your negotiations, you listen very carefully what the customer says. Then you interpret that in a way that you can, okay, what drives the customer, what is really important to them. And then you, do, you, you make a proposal that actually does not only address what they're saying that they need, but actually what they really need. So that's why you need negotiation. What are you talking about? 80-20? 80-20 means that, um, okay, we can follow whatever the customer wants to 100%. Um, but if you do that, you, your, your investment needs to be, uh, like, uh, for, the, for the last 20%, you need 80% more investment. So it is in the best interest for a customer to say, okay, why don't we make 80%? then your investment will be much lower, only 20% of what it would be to actually follow everything to what you say you need, because that's going to cost you so much. Don't focus on 20%, right? Right, right. Okay. So that, but that requires a different attitude. That requires you to be a partner, not, a, not just a supplier. Mm -hmm. So kind of sort of negotiation, I think uh, uh, Japanese people understand. Mm. So... Uh, before fund, we're talking about lots of issues about vision and so you know uh, right. sort of strategy support, but very difficult for them to understand. Right. Why are they going to consider what kind of issue? Right. Right, but that is what behind it, right? So you understand that you need to focus on vision and not on positions, for example. Uh, Otherwise, you it can. means we had better explain them more. Uh, example, like a kind of uh, case study oriented. Uh, the persuasion is more understandable for Japanese people. Mm -hmm. How do you think? Case study. Yeah, right. like, like so now, you, right, right now. Right, right. Right, which is more understandable for them. They understand, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is what I, what I, I will propose. <laughs> This yeah, 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 this is just right. Mm -hmm. I understand. It's a very discussion I had this, this afternoon. I understand what you mean. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And this means uh, Japanese has a uh, lot of negotiation they did with customer. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, and this means they did they are doing that. It's different from Western doing right? Right. Mm. So of course Japanese company go outside or European people come inside. So we're going to do something with them. But uh, Japanese people are not familiar with them. Just like last week I told you, okay, uh, one of German consulting company tried to intermediate among uh, Japanese German company to communicate, negotiate with them. Otherwise, Japanese, they themselves, it's very difficult to do it by themselves, right? Very right. difficult. American company, uh, Japanese are so familiar with them, but so more easier, but European people, especially German, British, French, it's not easy to communicate with them. Mm. Right. So this sort of things I had better looking for some intermediate person mm. to ask them to get involved. Of course, uh, his qualification, we must be concerned about that, right? Right. But, yeah, I, I, I also think, that, I mean, sure, an intermediary person it could be a pragmatical solution. Yeah, without them, it's impossible. Really? Yeah. But how can communicate to British people, the, like, uh, like uh, exporting machinery or something, whatever, let's like selling medicine, whatever? It's impossible. I don't know what what, what kind we're not uh, going to tell them. Why? <laughs> Why would it be impossible? I mean, it, 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 okay, it's not... I, I get to know the price. Okay, oh. pricing strategy. I uh, bet I can get bet now. Okay, yeah, but mm. But anything else? No, I, I I don't know how to do this. Mm. Mm. But so, uh, but if it's not rocket science. What? It's not rocket science to learn how to negotiate. What you say? It's not rocket science. Rocket science. Or it means very complicated. It's not very hard. It's not like it, this is impossible to learn. And the, the advantage of actually having, uh, not having an intermediary okay. is that you can okay, create you. much closer relationships. Okay, tell you. Like a, it's the British, I'm talking about Chinese. Mm. Too risky. Mm. Too risky, okay, just the uh, price settled. Then, after that condition, I lost lots of money before. Mm. Oh my god, they just, uh, just uh, implicit, you know, uh, something, conceal something behind. Mm. And after contract, and then uh, finally, I, I lost lots of money. Mm. They are very risky mm. without uh, expert involvement. I tell you, Westing House lose money, right? Yeah. Toshiba, yeah. the same. They missed the point. Mm. Uh, contract with the Chinese company is very risky. So, uh, British, uh, Italy, or French is same. Mm. So, you don't do that by yourself. Must be some somebody outside, very reliable person, should be, should be involved. Involve mm. this contract, but don't outsource. I would just say, okay, don't outsource the entire negotiation process entirely. Yeah, I agree with that because of you you just need to be there because it's of it's course. a perfect opportunity to learn more about client needs, about uh, building up a relationship, etc. So yeah. uh, to to create a a, a longer term perspective. Yeah. Um, so sure. Have, having a consultant that can advise you looking at these. This is Japanese problem. Japanese persons, they have, uh, they have, uh, they don't understand overseas people, inter including intermediate, intermediary person, mm. like uh, who is Germany, but he does not know, Japanese company side does not know how to handle him. Mm. Okay? Okay, we delegate the responsibility for you mm. and just wait and see. He says, no, no, it's not good. But but if my export is actually, if you're going to without intermediary person, uh, just contract directly with a Chinese company, no, very risky. Mm. It's uh, many Japanese company, uh, it's a fiasco, mm. fiasco, mm. big failure because of the that the they don't know how to find out missing hole. Mm. 
was impossible. Right, and not, sometimes it's not even a missing hole, it's basically just a, a lies. Of course, many lies in the, in the hole. Mm. <laughs> right? So, yeah. uh, fake news and a lot of fake news and uh, no evidence. Mm. And, uh, wow. Intentionally lying. Mm. It's very difficult to find. Right. But if you're going to talking about kind of things, but uh, you can do any kind of contract. So some cases you lie, use money, this is no way, but uh, you must consider for the best way is you must be looking for the middleman, okay? And also you don't delegate everything for him. Mm. And you need to observe what he's doing. It means also you need to understand Germany who they are, mm. the middleman. Otherwise, uh, or Chinese person who they are. Otherwise you can ask them everything for them, right? Right, right. You, you, you don't want to have a, a secret agent for the supplier uh, on your uh, negotiating on your behalf. Right? No, no secret agent. Mm. That's more obvious in the contract. They need to consider for that. Right. But many cases, I, I didn't know the common sense in that business area. Mm. Common sense. Mm. The Japanese from Japanese standpoint. But from Chinese standpoint, this is common sense. But from Japanese standpoint, this is not common sense. So sort of things, we have a lot of points in, in Western Europe, America, all over the world. Mm. So always, you must focus on that. Right. And, and, and uh, whereas, whereas uh, we also concerned about common negotiation skills. What's going to be? So, anytime we're going to explain for Japanese people, uh, you should consider for that this and that this, so forth. And this is very important for them to do that, mm -hmm. right? But many cases, uh, Japanese people they don't know how to do that. And uh, I'm telling, okay, if you're going to do in business overseas, next to cold. Two years, okay, two years. Oh, you can switch it off, maybe. Just uh, switch it off for a no, while. No, today is very hot. <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of cold here. Very mm. hot outside Lose today. Me to eat. But, you know, that's... Uh, so, uh, if you join with my school for two years, you can deal in business overseas. But this is not easy. Mm. Even, even mm. negotiation skill. It takes time. Maybe you should resell those uh, those intermediary people services. No, I can't do that. I just I uh, had a lot of problems before. Mm. If you're going to do in business with China, Singapore, Malaysia, mm. Thailand, different. Right. Vietnam different, and uh, British and French are different. I can't do that. But uh, every time you I, you need to find a suitable person to negotiate. With. Right. But if you have people, for example, from from organizations who want to, especially from small to middle, uh, great businesses, who want to do business overseas, ultimately they will need to to use a middleman in order to. to yeah, manage. but uh, yeah, I uh, I try to do that. I just uh, speak out several people. I want to do middleman for dealing business, but uh, I I told that, but uh, actually. If they're going to tell me doing some business in Vietnam, I can do that. He's doing business, but he can full time. He, he right. just do something, you know. Uh, I, Takashi is also called, see? I, say, I can ask him the question, but he can't move for my business. You know? Kimoto is the same. The old people are busy. But I can ask them opinion, but I can do that. But uh, doing business, I already uh, medical company to open the gate to Taiwan. But I want to do in Vietnam, but I can't. I couldn't do that. Mm. No. Yeah, also, okay, Takashi couldn't do that. Mm. Why I succeed Taiwan? Because of my former wife, at that time, she worked for them. Taiwanese yes. people that opened the gate, get a license from Taiwan government. But uh, any other country, I couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. It but are you, doing, are you doing business in Taiwan right now? Yeah, yeah. And uh, no, not me, that my pharmaceutical company, yeah. medical company. But I could do it in Vietnam because it's a very, trust relationship is important. Mm. 
if they going to make contract to long uh, pharm pharm pharmaceutical company, the Vietnam wholesaler, medical wholesaler will go into bankrupt in the case of the like uh, problem, medical problem. Mm -hmm. Somebody dead or something like that. <coughs> they don't want to do that. Right. So they don't want easily to believe outside company for pharmaceutical company. I couldn't success to do that. Mm. So I tried to make an effort, but I couldn't. Right. So this is not easy. Not medicine, but everything. Mm. Right. Not easy to doing business overseas. Right. Well, later on, we'll see a video today about doing business yeah, in middle, Africa. Middle man, that's about not, not easy. If mm -hmm. I'm living in that, that country, it's more easier, right? But uh, from the Japanese side, or overseas company come here to do something doing for Japanese company, it's well, more even easier. that is not so easy. I mean, I've been living here for 12 years. I would not, I'm not, I don't know if I would be a good middleman for, uh, for, uh, for Dutch companies who want to do business in Japan. I have no idea. I'm not really familiar with a lot of businesses here. No, you if you're going to do in business, Japanese company try to do business in Dutch, mm. is you can good uh, middleman, mm. right? You can good you can good middleman. That reason I ask you, uh, Japanese people ask doing business in Dutch. Okay, you are going to good middleman, mm. more easy to negotiate. Okay, okay, good negotiation. Okay, so yeah, this is kind of the discussion I would like to, and so you try to. Uh, beforehand, you're going to specific kind of negotiation skill. It's very difficult for Japanese people to understand mm. or to agree with you. Mm. But the like so today discussion is very acceptable for Japanese people, mm. right? So sort of negotiation is more uh, beneficial for Japanese people, mm. right? Okay, right. so uh, the first session is finished. The second session in Africa, you prepare something for yeah. today? Yeah. Hmm? yeah. Okay, just a coffee break. So, but that, that needs to be updated. Uh, okay. Coffee, no, it's nice to. It's nice. Damn. Ah, still. Still. Ah, okay. You're not a big coffee drinker.